And now your state game and fish department brings you Outdoor Oklahoma. Outdoor Oklahoma is a public service feature prepared and presented to further acquaint Oklahomans with the state's wildlife resources, hunting and fishing and the activities of the Oklahoma Game and Fish Department. And now Outdoor Oklahoma with Orville Allard as your host. This is our friend Harold. The squirrel hunting season opened May the 15th and Harold has come in this sporting goods store to buy a hunting license. But right now, he looks like a bird dog on a point. Harold's looking at the gun rack. You can almost hear what he's thinking. Boy, would I like to own one of those new guns. And it appears that Harold has found just the type of gun that he would like to own, but knows he can't afford it. Like to buy a gun? Well, I'd like to, says Harold. But right now, I'll settle for a hunting license. So the clerk gets his book of hunting license. Name? Harold Cup, says Harold, just as proud as if his name were Buffalo Bill or Davy Crockett. That'll be two dollars, says the clerk. Harold starts to leave, then he whirls and blurts. Let me see that little 410 up there. Harold nods. Yeah, that's the one. He looks through the barrel and down the sight. It's just what he wanted. I'll take it, says Harold decisively. Harold could hardly wait to get home and show the gun to his wife. But her reaction wasn't quite what our friend expected. What did you buy that for? You buy a new gun with me wearing this old dress? Etc., etc., etc. The price of guns just went up. Morning comes early when you're going squirrel hunting. And our hunter, fresh as a daisy, springs out of bed. And soon Harold is off for the hunt. It's a short drive to Squirrel Woods from almost anywhere in Oklahoma, and Harold gets there in a matter of minutes. Uh-oh, what's this? Squirrel digging. Fresh, too. Yeah, and here's some squirrel tracks. Say, hey, this looks like a dandy woods for squirrels. Mr. Squirrel hears Harold coming and gives up his search for acorns. A chattering warning sends other squirrels scurrying for cover too. Harold hears the shrill note some distance ahead and starts stalking his game. 
examining every leafy branch as he makes his way through the woods. This little fellow, not as vigilant as some of his brothers, hurries away, but not soon enough to keep Harold from catching a glimpse of his bushy tail as it disappears in the brush. Our hunter aims, shoots, and misses, and Mr. Squirrel scampers off through the treetop. Disgusted with his marksmanship, and wondering if he could blame his new gun just a little, Harold decides to try still hunting. He has chosen a rather concealed place to sit down and watch for squirrels. The thing to do is to be as motionless as possible and watch for telltale movements among the leaves. Harold is a patient man, but a slight breeze causes the only stir he sees in the treetop. So our hunter decides to move on. Uh-oh, looks like he spotted another one. A limb partially hides the squirrel from view, so Harold moves forward to get a clinging shot. And there's his squirrel. Harold scores a good clean hit. With the squirrel tucked safely away in his game bag, our hunter decides to call it a day and heads for home. The squirrel that got away applauds Harold's decision. But this is what happened to the squirrel that Harold took home. Mm -hmm. Smells good, doesn't it? And now let's join a couple of other sportsmen this time on a fishing trip. For outdoor fun, there's nothing like fishing for bass from a canoe. You know, it seems that some folks just naturally prefer a canoe to any other kind of boat. However, the canoe is not the safest boat in the world. In fact, in the hands of a novice, it is one of the most dangerous. A bit of carelessness or a strong gust of wind can upset a canoe almost as quickly as a bass can make a strike. And because of this, some of the larger lakes forbid the use of canoes. So these fishermen have chosen as their fishing hole a five-acre pond where largemouth bass can be caught. Selection of bait is important. Our fishermen decide to try the well-known hula dancer. And this is the fisheye blue skew of the plug as it skims across the top of the water. This pond is one of many that has been stocked by the state game and fish department to provide better fishing in Oklahoma. It is a shining example of how small lakes, 8 to 12 feet deep, and covering three or more acres of surface area, can produce excellent black bass fishing, whereas smaller lakes or ponds must be expensively managed and seldom afford good fishing. There's another strike, and this one looks like a whopper. It's going to take both of our fishermen to land this old fighter. That's the reason bass fishing is so much fun. Bass give you a real workout, as well as some anxious moments.
Well, our canoe fishermen have really been pulling them in. Just look at that stringer. Real beauties, aren't they? But for still more exciting canoe fishing, let's go to the Illinois River in northeastern Oklahoma. For on the Illinois, you can catch both the spotted and smallmouth bass, as well as the largemouth. Furthermore, the Illinois River is considered by many as the most beautiful clear water fishing stream in Oklahoma. It originates in the hills of Arkansas, enters Oklahoma near the town of Watt, and winds its way across several counties. This is a typical scene along the Illinois, with the background restful and eye appealing. And here you get some real action with that maneuverable little craft known as the canoe. Yes, sir, the canoe is ideal for this type of fishing. And if you're lucky, it doesn't take long to get a strike. The big mouth bass are found in quiet holes like this. Small mouth bass, or brownies, are swift water lovers, preferring gravel bottoms and rocky holes. The spotted, or Kentucky bass, inhabit waters bordered by clay banks, overhanging trees, and partially submerged logs. Sometimes the water is deep and almost motionless, but other times it is fast and rushing. Then there are places like this, where the water is so shallow you have to tow your boat across the gravel bed. Sometimes even fishing from a canoe gets tiresome. However, you can always stop and do a little casting from the shore. Canoe trips may be one, two, or three days. Three-day trips from the Arkansas line to Tahlequah are the most popular. But longer trips can extend as far downstream as Ten Killer. And all along the way, they offer unrivaled scenic beauty, as well as good fishing. Yes, sir, bass fishing from a canoe is a lot of fun, whether you do it on a farm lake or on a river like the Illinois. But just remember, if you're going fishing in a canoe, you had first better learn how to handle that tricky little boat. Only experts can do it as easily as these fellows. Outdoor Oklahoma is a public service feature prepared and presented by the Oklahoma Game and Fish Department. with us at this same time next week when your state game and fish department again brings you Outdoor Oklahoma.